Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup, Joe, and let's get started, shall we? Now we're going to keep going with the coffee mug. Uh, what I've done so far is generated an item called the coffee mug. Uh, I have put that on a sales order and put it on a purchase order. And then I have received the purchase order and shipped the sales order. So right now we have two entries for the coffee mug. I'm going to go and take a quick look at those entries. <clears throat> so in this case, uh, we purchased a thousand and for five dollars each, total amount five thousand uh, dollars. And we sold five for seventy five dollars. Uh, and so we do have 995 left of the original purchase. This is all shown in my history. Now, what we would like, ideally I'd like to see here is that there should be cost, total cost on this transaction. There is sale, there's no cost. Um, the cost should be $25, since we're actually selling um, out of these thousand that were bought for five dollars each. Now why is this not showing up? The demo system of NAV, it is set up not to calculate the cost uh, on automatically on posting. It actually requires you to run a manual routine to post that. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go find this routine. It's called cost adjust item entries. Uh, this is a routine that you can run at any time. You can just go ahead and click OK. And there it goes. Now I'm going to take a look at my coffee mug again. And now I can see that my cost has been updated. And now it shows $25. And um, this is accurate now. Uh, the profit is $50, cost 25, sale 75. Now, if I wanted this to be automatically posted, always when I um, post in the system, I can set that up by going into the inventory setup. And here, right away in the beginning, it has something called automatic cost posting. I can check that off. Let's say yes. And I'll put this to always. Post adjustment. So every time there is a posting, it's going to adjust. Main reason for not having this on is that this is an overhead to the system and it could be run at night if you have high volume of transactions. So let's see what the effect is. I'm going to actually go ahead and create another sales order, as we've done in another video. I'm just going to quickly go through selling another one to the Canon Group. This is my favorite customer to sell to. And pick the item. Coffee. Uh, we are generally obsessed with coffee, so I missed the coffee mug. Ten. And we are able to get thirty dollars for this one. High profit. I'll go ahead and post this. Ship an invoice. How it went. Now I take a look at my item again. Two items. 
and I go into the transactions. I know I can see my customer automatically came in immediately. I can drill into it. Um, right here. To see the detail. It's costed to GL. And everything looks good. And now I have 985 left and sold 15. And that was a demonstration of the uh, cost posting in an AV and how you can turn that on to be automatic.